Hi, I'm Louise and I'm going to show you a very simple solution for creating custom icons. In your ThingLink editor, there are thousands of icon variations, but sometimes you want to create your own. I'm going to use something called Google Fonts Icons. And if you go to fonts.google.com forward slash icons, you'll see thousands of different icons which you can use. And these are licensed for commercial use, so you don't have to worry about copyright. When you find the icon that you like, click download an SVG. And then over in Canva, I've created this simple um, template, which is a square, and I've added a circle shape. This is actually 52 times 52, but I've linked the template to create this yourself in the blog post. When you find the icon that you want to use and you've downloaded from Google Fonts, click Upload Media and then simply upload the SVG to your Canva uploads. You're able to then drag over. And of course, once you've dragged it over, you're able to change the color and the style. And if you have your brand kit already in Canva, you'll be able to change it to your brand kit, or of course you can change it to any color. And you can change the back of the shape and also the icon. When ready, click share and download and download with a transparent background and an SVG, which is scalable vector graphic. This is really important for ThingLink icons because it means it's going to scale according to whatever device you're viewing your ThingLink on. Over in ThingLink to change your icon, scroll down and you'll be able to upload your custom icon, which will appear here. And then you can change your icon and ready, click done and done again. And there is your nice custom icon. Easy to do with that simple solution using Google font icons and Canva.